More than 10 days after the start of the protests in Iran, the government is not yielding. It has branded protesters terrorists and threatened a severe crackdown on demonstrations. And the election results are not being called into question. Fortunately, we have witnessed no major irregularities during the country's recent presidential election and therefore there is no reason to annul the election. Despite the Guardian Council's warning, thousands gathered in the streets of Tehran Monday. These images show more violence as police and the Bazij militia crack down on protesters. But it was a much smaller turnout than previous days. Iranians are mourning their dead and their morale has taken a severe beating. Verifying the number of dead is impossible. The opposition claims over 100 people have died and several hundred been arrested. The government's reaction is in full flight and fear is spreading. In another sign of the government's hardening attitude, a parliamentarian says there are sufficient grounds for trying Mir Hossein Musavi for incitement to public disorder. The Iranian authorities also continue to accuse Western powers of supporting the protesters and have said it may expel ambassadors from EU countries. On Sunday, European diplomats stationed in Tehran were summoned by angry authorities.